what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel my name is jules and today guys i know you guys see the title i know i know i know it says goodbye fka hello in 2024 integra type s i know guys i know you guys are probably like what in the world and you just got the gtr i know guys you guys will see you guys are gonna find out what I got planned for the new whip. So guys, yes, by the title guys, I picked up a 2024 Integra Type S, guys. So let's jump right into the video. Here it is, guys. This is the key for the car. Yes, guys, this big old thing, this is the key. Your lock, unlock, trunk, your hold for panic. It says Acura on the side. I believe all the Acura keys look basically like this. It is pretty big for a key fob, but it says type s on the sign guys and this is the color of the car yes guys so this is the new 2024 acura integra type s and guys i am going to show you guys the window sticker and everything that this car comes it has a bunch of upgrades on there already by that you can add as accessory from acura too as well that came with the car which is pretty dope as well so guys let me go ahead and bust out the window sticker so you guys can check it out but guys before we bust out the window sticker let's just look at the brand new 2024 integra type s guys look at this front it just looks menacing and angry and then the farther you step back you guys can see that molded wide body fenders which looks insane and you guys can see the intercooler down at the bottom as well guys and you guys can see a little bit of blacked out badging and stuff here and there and we're gonna go through all of that and if you got in the bumper the OG name Integra which looks sick so that's dope the Acura kept that same design the Integra graved into the bumper you can see the big Acura Brembo brakes. This color is beautiful, guys. It's freaking amazing. So just walking around, you can see that wide body fender molded in. You can see on the back of the passenger door, they have like an, a sticked on wide, wide body fender piece to go in with the wide body over fender in the rear because this piece is actually sticked on. This one's not molded in. But then you got the rear bumper that's molded in, gives it that effect and line and then my favorite part of the car is the rear with this i don't know if you guys could pick it up in camera but that will spoiler and then you have the three exhaust tips from the civic type r as well and you have this crazy aggressive diffuser which looks freaking insane guys that looks crazy that looks crazy and then you still have that engraved Integra logo on the back bumper as well, which is sick. That's dope. And guys, it has some carbon on there as well, guys. I know you guys could probably see that on the camera, which is sick. So that is an upgrade that we're going to talk about. But that is also dope. And in the headlights, front and rear, front headlights and rear taillights, they have the Acura logo in there as well which is dope so just walking around the car this thing is a beauty they definitely did a great job with the look of this car so guys let's jump into the window sticker okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and bust out the window sticker so it is keyless so if you put your hand behind the door it does unlock the door they also got a light back there as well behind the doors which is sick too as well very luxurious and they have the light back there again too as you guys can see but you get in here in the interior and wow they got the red interior in here wow that looks beautiful and you still got that six speed manual in here and it's just type s beautiful got a wireless charger in there you got this new screen the vents honeycomb vents Got the Acura logo on the steering wheel. This is beautiful, guys. So let me get 
the window sticker so we have a lot to go over with this car as you guys can see with the window sticker there's a lot of stuff to go over so let's start from the top guys this is the window sticker for the 2024 integra type s the exterior color is called liquid carbon metallic so it is a metallic color it is a beautiful color when the light hits it it really brightens up a lot and it shines it has like a flip-flop to it it is a beautiful color and then you guys saw the interior is red right here for the interior so let's talk about the technical features guys so let's jump right into it so guys this car has the k20 engine out of the first type r the one that i had the i had a 2019 honda civic type r this one has a k20 c1 in it this one is a k20 c8 as you guys can see is the engine number which is pretty dope and guys my car had 306 horsepower this one even has 320 horsepower it also has more horsepower than the new civic type r i believe by four horsepower the new civic type r is 360 has 320 horsepower VTEC turbo, four cylinder, six P manual transmission, limited slip differential, integrated dynamic system with individual modes. Yes, the new Type R does have that individual mode feature, which you can do. You do got that individual mode for the steering, the engine and the suspension, which is pretty dope. You can adjust that for which Comfort Sport Sport Plus, which is pretty sick. And I'm gonna show you guys here that as well. They have adaptive damper system, four wheel disc brakes, front bumper calipers, front dual axis suspension, rear multi suspension, electric power stand, lightweight single mass flywheel. Oh man, it's so easy to drive this car. And I'm gonna make a POV video for you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. So subscribe to the channel. And then it has a lot of interior features and safety features so driver in front airbag driver in front passenger side bag driver in front passenger knee airbags side curtain airbags rear side airbags anti-lock brake system vehicle stability assist electronic brake distribution tire pressure monitor system last system for child safety led daytime running lights and then they also have interior features Acura ELL Studio Premium Audio System with 16 speakers. Guys, the sound system in this car sounds amazing, guys. Heads up display. Yes, guys, it has heads up display. So, this car has head up display for the driver's side. So, when you look at the windshield, it tells you in a little corner, it has like it projects it up on the windshield and it tells you the speed that you're going and it tells you the speed of the road that you're on as well. So, you can see the speed limit, which is insane these new features on these new cars is insane and acura knocked it out the park with that so that is pretty dope so you do have the head up heads up display perforated leather wrapped steering wheel and leather which is pretty nice perforated you have that perforated ultra suede sports seats driver 12 way power seat heated front seats nine color touchscreen with multi view rear camera precision cockpit digital instrument wireless apple play carplay wireless phone charger and bluetooth hand-free hd radio serium satellite radio blind spot information with rear cross traffic monitor then we go up to we still got more driver attention monitor traffic sign recognition dual zone auto climbing control with air, fil air filtration system push button ignition auto dimming rear view mirror wow that's pretty nice that's a pretty nice feature cargo area cover sport pedals exterior you got the type s Exclusive 19 alloy wheels, 265-30-19s. Oh man, we gotta take a look at that. Those wheels look beautiful and come from the factory. It comes with 265s. Insane. I had to upgrade my Type R to 265s, and it's a standard now. Triple outlet sport exhaust, front and rear brake sensor, dual eye headlights. The headlights look beautiful. Heated power door mirrors with turn indicator. Wow, heated power turn. Wow, luxury. Gotta love it. Tire sealant inflator kit. Rear dickless spoiler, rain sensor wipers, keyless access remote with smart entry, welcome lights for the doors is dope. Acura wash features, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, auto high beam assist. So guys, that is some sick features. So the auto high beam is when it's like completely pitch back, there's no street lights, the high beams will automatically come on, road departure mitigation if you're going out of the lane the steering wheel will automatically 
start shaking and push you back in the lane so you make sure you don't come out of the lane lane keeping a system system same thing lane departure warning it gives you a warning for collision warning it will start beeping if you're too close to a car or even break for you sometimes which is sick collision mitigation braking yep that's what i was explaining and adaptive cruise control which is pretty sick as well so then you got the msrp price is fifty thousand eight hundred dollars and saying guys i remember when i got my type bar the msrp price on that was 37 this new acura cost 50k and saying then you have your msrp includes 60 to 7,000 mile powertrain four year 50 mile vehicle warranty full tank of gas you got the Sirium action free activation three months and this unique high performance tires in the vehicle are not designed for winter driving suitable tires must be installed for driving on ice the tires on this will wear more rapidly than normal pas than passenger tires yep and then it has the color which you have to pay for that color that is a 600 dollar upgrade and you got your destination handling and your total becomes $52,595, guys. No. So that is the price without the extra stuff that the car has on, guys. So that is not the price. So that is the price if you were just getting it just like this without the extra features that I'm going to talk about today. So the price starting is $52,595 for this car. So now let's talk about the fuel economy and environment. So combined you get 24 miles per gallon that's pretty accurate pretty decent city you get 21 highway you get 28 that's still pretty good for a 320 horsepower car four cylinder vtec turbo that is pretty nice and then your annual fuel cost is 2700 so that is all the information guys this car was made in the u.s 60 percent 15 percent is in japan which is pretty dope and it is made in ohio guys so this type this accurate type s and a new type r is made in ohio in the united states which is beautiful so that is the whole window sticker i didn't want to bore you guys with too much of that but i know if some of you guys are interested in the car you guys definitely want to see the window sticker and the price of the car so i love making these videos to help people because one of you guys might be watching this video and be like man this video i'm looking for the same exact color there's the same exact car and i finally get to see everything about it and this might help you see the seal the deal on you getting one of these cars too so that is pretty dope so guys let's go over everything exterior and interior of this 2024 integra type s so i'm gonna go over everything that i love about the car one thing i love about the car is the front end that you gotta love is when you take a step back and walk away from the car you can finally see how aggressive and menacing the new acura integra type s looks with the molded wide body fenders that make the car look super aggressive in the front and has like a wide body kit look to it from the factory which is dope so just looking at that aggressiveness definitely got to say Acura did a hell of a job with the front bumper for the Integra Type S. It definitely looks very aggressive in the front, guys. As you guys can see, it looks beautiful. So, first thing first, I'm gonna pawn out the intercooler. The intercooler is right there, it's popping through the grill. It looks very nice. I love how what they did with this whole kind of grill section right here. Kind of reminds me of the Acura Teal just a little bit with that little section right there. And then you got the grills over here to deflect air to the brake calipers and all that stuff, which is pretty dope on each side. And it looks pretty sick. And then you have this big grill in the front so you could get all that air coming in to keep the car cool and then the air comes out of the hood right here so they have this vented hood which was a big problem with the previous type r the fka but now they fixed that and if you actually dump water in here they have a rain guard and it will just go right on the ground guys so that is pretty dope that they finally fixed this issue and they seen the problems before in the future and now they did a hell of a job 
with that so that's pretty dope i actually put water in there and see how it was rotted through and it goes to the bottom so it doesn't even get on the engine that is beautiful and dope guys so i really love that so you do have your parking sensors right here as you guys can see and guys this up here i know you guys see something a little bit different it looks blacked out they have this car was upgraded from the dealership with the black badging so the acura logo is usually black and silver but they have an upgrade from acura as an accessory as an additional you can get the whole acura logo blacked out and you can get the type s badge blacked out as well and it just makes the whole front end looks menacing and people are like what is that until you walk up to it and you're like oh man the badge is blacked out and this is type s and you can see the s in red so that is pretty dope and these jewel headlights acura has some beautiful headlights on all their vehicles and the jewel headlight does not disappoint as well and then of course you guys you have the beautiful engraved in the bumper integra logo right there which is pretty dope one thing i love about the new integra is the body lines and what i mean by the bottom line body lines guys you can see all the lines on the body you can see it goes up from there from here it comes in to like a v right here got body lines going right there when you walk up on the car you could just see all the different body lines that kind of make the car have like a face to it and that, that aggressive appeal to it so the body lines on this car is beautiful and it looks super menacing it looks aggressive as well at the same time so i love the body lines on this car so man then you guys have the fender you come over here and you can see there's of another type s badge on the fenders which is pretty dope that acura did that as well to let people know from the side what is that car it is an integra type s and then i love the new molded wire body that's in engraved into the fender there's no piece separate piece all engraved into the fender so makes the side of the fender looks even aggressive and stand out more man look at that that looks freaking insane and beautiful so now we're gonna come over here look at the wheels guys it is a little folly out so you're gonna see type of <laughs> wheels debris all on top of the tires and stuff guys this does come with michelin pilot sport 4 s's from the factory these are some amazing tires summer tires they're really nice as well and then you guys we have these beautiful 19 acura wheels i love it i love it it looks beautiful and then you have these four piston brembo brakes in red which is pretty dope and it says it says brembo acura which is pretty sick and it's a very beautiful red it's very bright and it also comes with a two-piece rotor which is pretty nice it's very two-piece rotors are really nice because they're very light they're two separate pieces and that middle piece you can make it shave a lot of stuff out of it and it's very light when you take it off the car and lift it up so that is pretty nice that they kept the two piece rotors from the last two years of the fk8 that they upgraded that to so that's pretty nice that they kept that and another upgrade is the black lugs that is another upgrade as well guys as you can see the one in the middle is silver if you didn't get the black badge upgrade it will look something like that with the silver so that is pretty dope then you come over to the side of the car guys you still have some of that nice little body line so as you guys can see there's that body line that goes from the front bumper goes through the wide body fenders from the front come through the side and goes up which is pretty sick and then you got another one right here by the door the body lines in this car is insane and then the side skirt guys on this car is different from the regular integra as well definitely sticks out a lot more and it gives it kind of that sporty look as you guys can see compared to the regular integra that they have the a specs so that is an upgrade as well for the type s and they look sick another upgrade guys is these rock guards so these rock guards are another accessory you can add to the car as well that you have to pay more money for but it is a must for when you're driving on the road you don't have stuff flying up against your rear door your rear of your molded fender for the door or the back of the rear quarter of the uh 
wide body so or your even side skirt that sticks out more too as well so this is a must guys and i'm gonna let you guys know what we also did to the whole car as well so yes guys this piece these rock guards as well it's extra money and it's pretty nice that acra did them in gloss black so if you guys look here it's the regular plastic in the front and then on the back it's like a gloss black so that was a pretty nice touch from acra so i gotta give them a thumbs up on there then you guys come over here you have this extra rear fender piece on the door and as you guys see they even kind of like made a little body line inside of the wide body fender piece right here for the door and they bended it down and kept that crease in there so it could come down so that is that's sick that they matched that line perfectly for the top of the side skirt so man Acura they definitely did some styling on this car that's really beautiful and then the gas door one thing when I first saw like the new Type R and this new Acura I was like why is the gas door so big but I guess they want the car to I don't know stand out a bit don't make it too small fill up the whole body and stuff like that so I don't know why they did that but they made the gas door so big i don't know why i was like why did they make the gas door so big but that's what they did so the gas door is pretty big it's bigger than my fist as you guys can see it's crazy how big the door is and then you can say the rear quarter kind of has like that little wide body kind of edge up here on the rear quarter which is pretty sick and nice as well one thing i love is the body lines on the integra type as it is freaking beautiful then we got to come back here for the rear of course you still got those black lugs and then you same thing as the previous fka and a new fo5 type bar you get that red caliper in the rear they didn't do two piece back here which is okay they did two piece in the front but you can upgrade in the future which is pretty nice and dope and we still got that rock guard in the rear too as well then we come back here let's look at this whole hatch area so this reminds me of like rsx type s it does kind of remind me of the integra but it's a whole new different type of styling to the car guys it's definitely different and different from the previous generation cars from the 90s from the rsx and stuff like that so I know a lot of people had to get used to or accustomed to this new style and kind of looks like a hatchback but it more looks more like kind of like a suv but when you see the car in person it looks more bigger boxier but it does look like the old integra or the acura rsx and stuff like that so it does have those similarities you do have this is actually guys an upgrade so this is the upgraded wing and carbon fiber guys yes acura does have some nice carbon that you guys can upgrade to and it definitely uh changes up the look from the side of the car side of the car as you guys can see so yeah this thing looks sick they do have a different one from the factory but it doesn't look as tall and as aggressive as this so this was extra money guys to upgrade to the car so as you guys can see from the side that is freaking beautiful guys and then you guys there is a lot of gloss black pieces so these little window pieces are gloss black the piano gloss back and then you also have the third brake light is actually up here guys you can see the red brake light is up here and this piece is actually gloss black as well so they do have a lot of gloss black pieces and then you have the fin for the radio nav and all that stuff which is pretty nice and then we're gonna get back to the most <laughs> beautiful part and crazy looking styling by acura is this whole rear right here so this thing is insane as you guys can see we still got the black type s logo for the rear as well so we have like four in total blacked out badges that they replaced and then you have the front and the rear badging that's blacked out 
that you can upgrade as well and then you have the spoiler of course but guys then you have i talked about the rock guard i really like how they did the rock guard as well for the rear because you guys can see look it fits right above that diffuser in the rear that whole piano black diffuser so it's really nice that they incorporated it like that so it looks seamless and you really don't notice a difference like it doesn't belong there it looks really nice then you have the rear bumper i like how they molded that in just like the front bumper so it looks seamless like a whole extended wide body on the car which is pretty sick then you got this crazy crazy diffuser guys as you guys can see man it looks crazy and the car is not even lowered and this thing looks insane back here guys so you guys got the rear reflectors back here you still have that three exhaust tips in the rear so this whole thing is gloss black piano and you have another rear reflector then you got the little fins at the bottom down here that makes up for the styling and looks freaking crazy reflects off the ground with the rocks and everything and then you do have your sensors back here the front Hat and it has sensors then the back also have sensors and then they have some like little kind of extra designing for the diffuser back and it kind of swoops into the end and everything ties in together they definitely did an amazing job guys they also they definitely did an amazing job and guys this exhaust does have a valve as well so if you guys can see in there yep there you guys go I can see the valve is closed in there but when you start up the car you can open it um, when you go in certain modes and stuff like that so the new exhaust with the valve it is pretty nice one thing I love compared to the OFK to this new F of the new type R and the new type S the Acura and Honda Civic is the exhaust note on these car sounds a lot better that was my main gripe about the FK I wasn't too fond about the sound but I love the sound of these new ones oh yeah and these tail lights i know a lot of people were not too fond about these tail lights but over time it is definitely unique in its own way nice styling and everything it's definitely pretty dope and you do have the acro logo on east and as you guys can see right there which is pretty nice it is pretty dope so now i just talked about all of this stuff so one thing that this car has for the exterior is the blacked out acura badges from the front and rear the blacked out type s badges the lug nuts are blocked out so and then you also got the carbon fiber spoiler that's new as well on the car so those are some accessories that you can add to the car and yes guys it sucks that it doesn't come from like that from the factory but it's nice that they give you that option to upgrade as well if you want that more aggressive styling too so that is pretty dope so next thing we're gonna do is go in the interior so i have the key in my pocket and you put your hand back here it automatically unlocks one thing i like is there is a light on each door so you guys could probably see that reflection for the light they have one back here as well on all of the four doors there is a light so at night time it gives it a nice very clean touch very nice clean touch at nighttime so that is a nice feature then you guys also let me go over the mirrors it has the blind spot monitoring so it will light up if a car is next to you so that's pretty dope and they were saying that it's heated the mirrors are heated and guys it also has led turn signals as well in the mirrors as well so that is pretty dope so one thing i gotta say is this car has a lot of insane crazy features you're walking up to the car the lights will come up in the door automatically start lighting up as you guys can see is like it came on automatic because it's recognizing the key is near then i put my hand behind it then the door unlocks guys and another feature is when you close the door it goes beep and then when you walk away from the door it locks it that's pretty dope so you can change that you there's so many unlock unlock features and stuff like that you can 
when you unlock the door it, the only door will be unlocked it's a driver you can do it so as soon as you unlock the door all the doors unlock there's so many features that this car has but that's a pretty dope one so every time you get out of that car you walk away from a little bit of distance it automatically locks the door so you always have that security which is pretty dope so guys let's jump in the car and let me show you guys the interior so put my hand behind there it unlocks and as soon as you open up that door you got that black and red interior guys and guys this has the 16 speakers the ELS studio 3d guys it does sound amazing guys so the 2024 integra type s is supposed to be accra kind of like street sport car i know the honda civic type parts would be like a track car but this is their the type s is supposed to, with more power it's supposed to be their street daily kind of car sports car for everyday use which is pretty nice so i am going to do a nighttime video so i can show you when the whole interior lights up at night so i will get that video for you guys at the end but man, this red that Acura has in leather is pretty nice. So they got this red, they got this silver up here. You got your door switches right here for each, the fronts, the rears, the child safety lock, the unlock lock. You got your mirror toggle, the left and right, and then you can adjust it. Then you have your 16 speaker. So guys, this is a speaker. This is a speaker. It would be nice if Acura did add, they have the slot here. They could have added the memory seats in the here that would have been pretty dope but they didn't add that feature in there and then you have this door which is kind of pretty nice kind of just pull it open up the door get out of the car and then you come over here you're greeted by these black and red seats which looks freaking sick guys so that is pretty dope man and then you look in the hairs it says type s as you guys can see even the passenger side it says type s which is pretty dope so yes guys this has 320 horsepower six speed man you got your gas brake clutch pedal which is pretty nice you got that new full leather steering wheel i love when companies make the bottom piece even if it's leather i love the perforator with the holes it doesn't feel like complete leather your hands don't get sweaty after a while the holes just feels a lot more nice have more grip your hands don't get sweaty it is pretty nice so you got the acura logo here in the steering wheel you got the nice type s badging blacked out as well so that's dope that they kept that as well and you got the silver piece right here i love this big oval circle piece where you still have that space for the tack in there you can see it's a very it's amazing dope size that they did by Acura so that's amazing you have this kind of honeycomb type of plastic in here then you have this whole vent for your air you can open and close it toggle it around which is pretty nice and then you have the heads up display stuff right here and I'll show you guys that when I turn on the car which is pretty dope and then guys this is another add-on that you have to pay for guys so this is the acura accessory type s weather mask that you can get they're pretty decent i honestly guys like the weather tax because they cover each thing so no water or nothing gets in here they did a pretty good design on the edges and stuff like that i like it but i wish they had did a better job at the end because water and stuff would get down there if you live in like a warm area all year round you probably these probably will be perfect maybe like if you live someplace where it rarely rains perfect but if you have winter fall summer spring you probably want to upgrade to some weather tax because you want to keep your carpet clean for years to come so that is pretty dope but it's nice that acura has these and it has this type s so that's pretty dope that is dope that is dope so guys this whole seat is electronic so you can move it back up front they have so much adjustable to it you can move back front you can adjust it from here the armrest is red which is pretty nice you have this whole piano black center 
piece right here with the shift knob this is the factory knob you can't upgrade this to a titanium i like how they did this in alcantara which is pretty nice the black and the red then you have your modes guys you have your individual you have your dynamic mode button up here you can toggle to sport plus down to sport or comfort then you have your emergency brake right there electric parking brake you have the brake hold so if you could press that button you can let go of the brake and the car will stay in one place you have your wireless charger you have your passenger airbag light you have a usb cord you have usb c you have your aux cord then you have your whole dual climbing control right here then you have your infotainment system right here man this is a pretty nice screen as well then you have your rear view mirror then you have your door lights as you guys can see guys and guess what guys led from the factory come on acra what you doing acra you you finally finally a company that put freaking leds in from the factory all this money we're paying all the cars should have this that's crazy so that is pretty dope i'm gonna turn them off and then you have your sunshades holder right here so that's pretty nice and guys you have the black roof you do have another light right there and guys you have speakers in the roof look you have one right here and then you have one for the passenger side so that is pretty dope that all those 16 speakers you definitely get so now we get to the back door yes you gotta unlock the door gotta press the unlock button since that feature is on to get back here so you guys can check out the rear seats guys and it's very spacious back here as you guys can see you can still got the same type of styling as the front door that red and black which is pretty dope then you come back here and it's completely rear leather back here which is pretty dope you see you got the pull down for the back seats you have your cup holders right here in the middle so guys this is only really a four seater guys then you have those same mats those type of mats this one doesn't have red badging as the front but yeah it's pretty nice that acura also offers the rear mats as well to keep your interior clean but as you guys can see this basically is a four passenger seat it is also nice that they do have like a little thing back there you could put stuff in so that's pretty dope as well which is pretty nice so that is freaking dope so you even got the back window back here got a little cover which i'll show you guys and you guys can see when the door is closed you still got that red leather on the other side of the door so that is pretty dope that's the interior guys i'm gonna show you guys more of that here in a second but let me show you guys the trunk so there is a button underneath here you just press and it does have dampeners and everything back here which is pretty nice so you they this comes from the factory this is like a little Pfizer protection so you nobody can see what you got going on in the trunk area so that is dope that Acura has this visors back here so you could hide groceries if you're going to store to store you got something back here there's like a little cover even if you don't have tin or anything so that is pretty dope and you guys can't remove it you just take this piece off take that piece off and then you just pull it down and the whole thing comes out so that's pretty nice this is a lot of trunk space you could probably fit a couple people back here like two to three bodies back here probably is a lot of space as you guys can see it does have like a little area with a net over here to for extra space it has some led lights in the corners you do got a subwoofer back here which is pretty nice the sound system does sound good you also could put the seats down guys you could fold them down and even get more space back here guys so that is pretty dope that it has a lot of space back here and then this is more money this is another weather mat that says type s for the integra which you will have to pay additional money for but it is really freaking nice so it's very spacious back here guys and then you still got your spear back here all of this stuff is back here as you guys can see you can lift this up and you do got your ear tire pressure you can just plug in and put ear in your tire if need be but you know new cars they don't come with spare tires no more so they just usually come with this 
which is insane but this is the times that we're in so yep so overall pretty nice and dope guys that's a lot of space back here very spacious very nice very dope it's very it's all painted very quality work by acura got this little kind of little space you can put your hand in quality of this looks really nice they did a very good job with that so i like how they did the damn nurse right there on east side so that's pretty dope so you can have like a handle to close it down and stuff like that pretty sick pretty dope i really love the styling of this car all right guys so i just closed the hatch the rear of the car is my favorite part of the car that diffuser looks freaking insane from the rear i love the tail lights definitely definitely unique love how they did the third brake light on top of the windshield back there guys so let me explain what interior mods have been done i'm gonna turn on the uh park lights and headlights so you guys can check that out as well close the door but this is how they look lit up looks very nice it's like this whole section is lit up it's kind of hard to see during the day but it, it looks very sick and dope look look at that that's beautiful and you can see the day running light is on usually when you have the car on man that jewel headlights look very beautiful it looks gorgeous that is sick look at that man that is gorgeous a very nice white look to it too very clean elegant that was my whole thing when i got my type r i wasn't too crazy about the whole looks of the car after i drove in the car it blew whatever the exterior looks of the car looks it does look crazy but it started to grow on me but after you get behind the wheel that goes out the window i'm gonna show you guys under the hood real quick go through what's done to the car let's go through the heart of the beast guys so guys this is the k20 c8 and the new 2024 integra type s as you guys can see man this compared to my old honda civic 2019 honda civic type r fk8 this thing has a lot more space room activity and this car is definitely a lot wider compared to the 2017 through 2021 type r when it first came out with this engine so that is insane as you guys can see you guys can have so much space up here it's insane you got your turbo charger which is right here you have this new inlet piping with the type s for noise resonance stuff like that you have this new cover right here with the acro logo in red and then you have this same kind of carbon which is really sick so that is a nice little touch that they did i definitely love that red that they did with the acro logo it definitely complements and looks very nice and i like how they kept that same carbon texture up here so man it just has so much room the engine is like right there in the middle you have your intake manifold back here you have so much space and activity to it right now compared to the fk8 which is pretty nice you have your brake system back here as well man I love how they did the new engine in here. And then you have your coolant tank. You have your washer fluid over here in the corners. It would have been nice to have like a little plastic piece that you can cover up here a little bit. But it's pretty dope that you can see all of this and have access to all of this stuff right away. If you guys do maintenance, change something out or anything. This is the new intake that they have for the car. Definitely a lot different from the previous Type R so this is a pretty nice feature there kind of comes in swoops in goes down into the engine hits the turbo hits the intercooler goes through the piping goes into the throttle body goes into the engine so that is pretty dope and then i see the new my car my old type i didn't have this they have like a battery cover i guess for heat and stuff which is pretty nice so that's, that's a pretty nice touch that they have for the new type r's and the new type s as well so that is sick so definitely this whole intake is definitely a whole new design even the map sensor looks a little bit different completely different then yeah it definitely looks completely different than 
the previous type r as well so that is pretty dope and as you guys can see down here is the hood scoop i was telling you about the water just falls out forward this way so that is pretty nice so that is pretty dope that's a nice dope design that they came up with so it doesn't go on the turbocharger engine for daily use and stuff like that no issues because that's what an issue was with the old type r they had the hood scoop in the back but water used to fall on top of the cover and get into the spark plugs and seize up the coil packs and the spark plugs and later down the road maybe like 50 60 000 miles you have to replace it so you shouldn't have that issue and have that maintenance issue come up until later down the road so that is pretty dope that they did that but this thing is way <laughs> as you guys can see it's taking up the whole screen it's way bigger than the previous 2017 through 2021 type r and this one of course has more power so that is freaking beautiful and they didn't they did a good job with the quality of paint by accurate that back here so that's pretty nice and they got a little guard for heat and stuff against the hood and then you have your cow in there it's pretty nice cow nice design and everything they did a very good job as you guys can see all of this here this front suspension that's a little thing for the camber if you want to remove that that's pretty dope so still have all those aggressive stylings and stuff in here but overall man i love it look how much space you have an activity to take if you want to upgrade the down pipe and front pipe and exhaust turbos right here so much nicer what look my whole hand could fit in here wow that's sick that is sick so guys let's go jump inside of the car i know this video is going to be pretty long let's jump inside of the car and i'm going to show you guys all the electronics before we jump inside of the car guys let me talk about i almost forgot this guys <laughs> let's talk about all the stuff that's done to the car already this car is has ppf all over it so what do i mean by that this car the whole car is almost ppf almost the whole car yes guys we one thing i love about the car is the whole color this liquid metallic this carbon liquid metallic color is beautiful it is freaking beautiful guys so the whole front end is ppf so what i mean so if you guys don't know what ppf is ppf is a paint protection film that helps with rock chips any type of you run you if you hit like a tire on the road or anything the film which is a clear film that goes over your paint it will protect your car from rock chips all types of different damage or stuff that you might run over or run into it will protect your paint from the car so guys this whole thing is done this hood those black vents the gloss all of the gloss black pieces in this car that hood little vent that's gloss black the side pillars the third brake light though even the rock guards that's gloss black all of that's ppf the hood the bumper the headlights those pieces right there that's gloss black for the vents that's a ppf that piece in the middle ppf the fenders the badges came off that was ppf the rock guards even on the edge is what i mean this has ppf on it which is sick the whole doors the front and rear doors have ppf on it this whole size mirror has ppf on it even we put matte ppf on this piece right here even this piece has ppf on it guys we really wanted to protect this car because this car is going to be is a very beautiful color and it's going to be daily driven so guys the doors are fully protected in ppf the side skirt is fully ppf it's completely ppf the roof is fully ppf as well and the rear quarters are ppf with the gas doors ppf this has ppf ppf the only thing that doesn't have ppf on this car is the trunk and the rear bumper but guys this whole diffuser has ppf on it guys so one thing about these gloss back piano pieces over time they get scratches they look they have swirl marks they start to fade they start to look very disgusting over time guys one thing that stops all of that and protects it long term till it looks like clear clean no swirl marks no hazing none of that the ppf will hide any type of scratches 
any type of haziness world marks it hides all of that stuff and one thing you want to do is definitely that diffuser with all that gloss black piece over time it's going to look nasty squirrel marks and everything this whole thing has been ppf guys yep so so did that so the only thing that hasn't been ppf is the bumper and that trunk those are the only two things that haven't been ppf but overall the whole car has been as i specified to you guys wow man this thing is protected it's ready to go even like i said these pillars this is pp has ppf on it as well this has ppf ppf on these so they're gonna keep looking clean like that guys which is dope ppf is definitely the way in future to keeping your car looking clean scratch resistant and looking a1 all the time another thing we did guys the wheels have been ceramic coated we took the wheels off ceramic coated them ourselves we did the calipers as well for the front and i believe we did the rear too we put some ceramic coating on that as well but the whole caliper and the wheels of ceramic coating and we recently just did the whole trunk and the bumper we ceramic coated those two pieces as well so and then the ppf is stack s tech dyno shield is what it is and it has ceramic properties in the ppf so you put water on it it's just going to beat off so all you got to do when you wash this car basically is get a your ph neutral soap your wash mitt wash the car down and then rinse it off and just blow the whole car off and the water just drips right off of it gotta love it so your whole car is basically protected guys and we did the windshield we did uh a ceramic coating on the windshield as well the rear the size the front and we did some on the side mirrors as well so this whole car is protected guys beautiful man this wow whole car is protected it's ready to go rip a run down the street it's gonna always look beautiful aggressive catch your eye everything guys so it's gonna be protected for a long time guys man and of course this is gonna be an iconic car in the future especially with all of us going electric vehicles for the future so guys let's jump in the car and get into the electronic components because it is daylight savings now it does get dark early and i'm trying to make a second video for you guys so let's turn this off back to auto which is nice and let's jump right into here so one thing as soon as i get in the car these seats are comfortable wow guys these seats are very comfortable wow that's the number one thing one thing i do love is the design of these buttons i really like it you got your voice activation right here your volume up and down toggle through your radio then you could do your adaptive crew control cancel it you have some other features that you could turn off and on and then you got this whole electronic display this looks like <laughs> something out of a race car that they have in here guys this full led screen which is insane they usually see out of race cars is actually in a brand new car from the factory so one thing i noticed this car pretty sick right it has a nice little chime to it looks freaking dope it's this type s guys in here very it has some very insane insulation very nice gotta love the as you guys know acura is a more luxurious brand high quality brand compared to honda you know honda and acura is basically together they're partners they're definitely there's two different brands but they're by the same people and man wow it's beautiful and you got some speakers up here as well guys 16 speakers in here and we got some in the roof like i was saying over there it's pretty sick so let's go ahead and start this car i'm gonna do you guys i'm gonna put the camera outside and do a cold start or i could you guys want to see how it looks so of course guys this is a six-speed manual so I have the key in my pocket. You do have the push to start button right here. It's lighting up. It says engine start, stop. I'm gonna press it once. You can hear it. Then it tells you to start engine clutch and push the button. I'm gonna turn all the stuff on. This whole LED screen, insane, which is pretty dope. So they even have a picture of the car, guys. That is insane. And it tells you 
over here the little seat belts if my seat belt is not on i'm sitting in it it could detect my weight other people in the car if they don't have their seat belt on so this is, reminds me of like an airplane which is pretty dope and it has the seat belt logo next to it so that is very dope then you have the little car then you have the settings on the miles per hour in the middle then you have your rpms the red lines is 7000 pretty nice so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car that is pretty dope starts up no problem got a nice tone to it deep low tone to it you got everything turning on over here then you got your big screen lighting up over here then you got your radio we go to the home you have all your apps your phone serium fm then you have your bluetooth system update smart share course smart connection then you also have usb am accurate link then you have your trip computer vehicle settings clock compass all different types of display mode pretty nice all that stuff in here then you have your individual mode so if you click individual mode everything lights up here and you can see the color of the car and then you can click customize and as you guys can see engine i can set the engine to sport or comfort sport plus i could set the steering to sport sport plus or comfort suspension to comfort sport or sport plus and then you also could do the gauges to comfort sport and sport plus so if i should do the gauge it goes blue so i'm guessing this is more of like a e e economic type mode which should probably save you a lot of gas and stuff like that and you probably won't get much power or turbo noise and stuff like that and then you have sport it changes to white and then you have your sport plus mode which it will look red like that which is pretty dope so sport comfort and then you have that's pretty nice so we'll just keep it like that so that is pretty dope and then you could upgrade the suspension steering and engine guys so that is pretty dope i'm gonna start driving here in a minute but i wanted you guys to see all of the different modes and this is individual when you press it this car has we've been driving it 824 miles so it is already broken in guys so we can make an additional video of enjoying the car and ripping on it so that's pretty dope so you guys can see you guys have your hot and cold to the left over here then you have your gas full to empty which is pretty nice design this is like a full led screen which is pretty sick and dope then you have your dual climate control i could turn it on i could set each one to something else you can unsync it i can set mines to whatever then the passenger can set it to whatever so that's pretty dope then you got your heated seats right here then you have your different front and rear ac you can put your phone down here and then i put it down yep it says it's charging that's it so i could be driving and charging my phone and this is the iphone 14 pro max so the biggest iphone and it charges right there so that is pretty dope and then you could just hit the up button to go in sport and then you could go in sport plus and i go to comfort so i could just hit that and go in there and start ripping up and down so that is pretty dope turn off the ac i would turn on the sound system but i don't want to get copyrighted but it yeah it sounds good y'all can hear the little bass to it i know y'all do yeah it sounds pretty good so let me give you guys some ribs if you guys have seen before this card also has a special feature where you put in sport plus mode and it pop it makes some pops and bangs so it, which is pretty dope so let's go ahead and do a cold start <laughs>
that is insane to see a stock exhaust make those crazy pops like that from the factory that is freaking insane guys so with an exhaust it's gonna be crazy that's it for the video guys if you guys enjoy this video like the video subscribe to the channel for more content and hit the notification bell so you guys do not miss any new videos that i have with the acura integra type s and guys comment below also guys comment below guys what should i do to the acura integra type s full bolt-ons upgraded turbo what do you guys think comment below guys what's your favorite thing about the acura integra type s what's your thoughts about it but guys that's it for the video guys if there's anything that you guys want to achieve find your inner drive the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen guys peace i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was very helpful but oh yeah guys let me go over it before i let you guys go so i talked about the ppf so the whole car's ppf ceramic coated the tint that i went on the car is five percent all around guys even the window strip it comes down all the way down there to that middle piece right there the whole car all around is five percent definitely want to keep those red seats protected from the sun it looks beautiful guys and we also got this carbon fiber integra type s license plate so that is pretty dope as well it has this carbon fiber look from the back it looks freaking sick another thing that was done to the car as well was these oem bumper plugs so you know the dealerships or they put a hole in the bumper you can buy these oem oem bumper plugs for that comes paint matches to the car so we put those in so it looks a lot more cleaner as you guys can see so all the link in the description i'll put these in there too if you guys run into that issue from the dealer but it definitely looks a lot cleaner and beautiful but man look at that that is freaking beautiful man look at that stunning aggressive look guys that's it that's all the stuff that's done the five percent tin all around the full ppf on the car the ceramic coating the wheels the calipers the bumper the trunk the blacked out badging type s badging the the acura logo blacked out is an upgrade the black lugs the weather tech mass is type s all of those upgrades guys and i believe when you upgrade the spoiler too and all that stuff i think it gets close to like 59 60k for all of the stuff added to which is insane but if you love that style and the look of the acura integra type s 2024 definitely this is the car so let's jump in and do some driving stay tuned for the next video guys let's go